Yeah, ma'am, I'm back again, guys. My amazing people, I'm back again. You know, I said I'm going to make a video on how, as in, the reason you shouldn't do is not bad. See, people in Africa, they are good. Mm. People in Europe, we are good too. Depends on the person. And let me explain a little, um, a little advantage and a disadvantage. All right. It might make sense to you, it might not make sense to you, but when you reason it well, you will know that it makes sense. You see, eh, a lot of us living here in Europe, in ab abroad or diaspora, we live like we have all of almost let's okay, let me just say 80% of people living here in our in Europe have big, big houses in Africa. So when you send money home. You send 100 euro home out of maybe you receive 1005 from your work or 1000, but you send 100 euro home to your girlfriend or to your boyfriend. When the man changes, the money is big, or the woman, the money is big, they enjoy, they value it. So there's something they have in their head, they feel that you are in Europe, you live in paradise. So there's a reason I'm making this video. I have a friend that just went back to, she's a Kenya. She went back to Kenya because of this issue. All right. So they think when they come here, because of the house you build in Africa is very big. So they have that mentality that you can build this house from Europe. That means where you are living here is even more beautiful for example they already say it abroad so only people that understand they are the people that came with those deportees they know how it is so when you are dating them when you are when you want to marry them they know the condition even if they, they are not too much into the system but they know how europe is so they will understand but the one that have not even stepped their foot into this europe before they don't know how it is they feel that europe is paradise so you're not be dating them you're sending money to them more often always sending money to them that's all they believe either as you have it all okay so maybe somehow somehow <laughs> you not get married to them okay you not bring them here they will not see that you that have for example four flats or two place in africa you are living in self contain in europe hmm. or you're even living in because if you are alone you don't need three bedroom flats it's only maybe a place like spain italy that house is very cheap you can take three bedrooms you not start you don't give two rooms out you not be managing one room and a parlor it happens a lot in spain and in italy too other places i think in greece too okay so but the person wants to go and bring, think you live in a very big house, like the one you built in Africa. The reason why most people have problem, why after they bring their wife or their husband. So the person will not be feeling somehow like, and you don't give money the way you used to give. Remember, when you send 100 euro home, the person will change it, or 200. The person will change it to be enough for the person to do shopping. And here in Europe, take 100 euro to shop. What will you buy? Except if you want to go and buy cheap clothes. Even if you want to buy cheap clothes, say, when you pick one or two, <laughs> and you pick one shoe, 100 euro don't finish my brother, my sister. 100 euro don't finish you. And maybe she will take that 200 euro or 100 euro you are sending her and she will buy many clothes. Then she will start complaining. I don't know this how it is. So. And when she have documents, at times that's she will not need to work. Hmm. So you need to build the document. So and when you bring her, you need to change apartment because when you start having children, you need more space. You cannot live in a self contained Maybe you can take three bedroom flats and you not be paying more. So the more house rent you pay, the more expenses you 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 have, and the less you give her money. Then she was expecting to have more than here because when she was not with you, she was having like almost enough, not enough. 
So she now she's staying with you. She expect she 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 expect to have more than you are giving her, and now you're not giving her less than than before. She will start complaining, even if she don't say it to your ears. They should not be looking for somebody that will tell her that will wise that will wise her up. You know, there is no way you can stop people from making friends. That is why, out of eighty percent of people that that. Let me say 100% of people that went to go and marry in Nigeria, 3% of their 3% work, their marriage will work. Uh, uh, other uh, uh, 90, 97%, it doesn't work. Not that they have problem. That's because, as in, the way the way they think that here is here is, is that's not how it is. It's different from their thinking. And another thing is. You don't know this person. You are just going home once in a while. So before you get to understand her or him, the ticket, your ticket you, you buy, your tour and flow ticket is already, it's already uh, 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 um, end. You have to go back to where you are coming from. So you don't know this person. So by the time you now bring her, you now, you, both of you now get to understand each other. So you, at first you now know that it's the wrong person you choose. She's already here. You want to manage her. So I thought she would not know that. No, you are not the match you like kind of match you want. Before you know, separation will come. Okay. That is when you go and marry Africa. Let me bring it here. She will know how to manage with you because she knows the system. She's into the system. She understands how it is. Alright. Then both of you managing together. I thought you might not even appreciate her. Or she might not even appreciate you. But for the fact that you guys understand each other, she don't expect you. That's why most men don't spend for their wives here. Because they know. They, because they know the woman understand how it is. So that is why they don't bother to give their wives money or their partner money. Okay. Then the woman will go and be working. Because the woman knows that I need to work to build my documents. If I have, if I want my document to be strong, I need to work to pay tax to the country for the, so that my document will be strong. So, the woman will not stress you too much because she already know what to do. So you also see some women, they have documents, but the man that will fall in love with, the man don't have. They will put hands together. Hmm? The man will have. At times the man don't have, the woman don't have. But they want to have documents. They also put it together, make it work. They will have documents. Anyhow, they want to make it. All right, we are into the system. We know how it works. So they will make it together, plan it together. They will have documents. We we'll see some cases. The man don't. The woman. The man have. The woman don't have. All right. The man will marry the woman. They will see put it together. They will have documents. All right. The woman will know that I need to work. To support my husband because the bills we are paying the things is too much it's too much for him to only him to handle so i need to work even if it's three hours four hours six hours i need to do something to be able to support my husband because she's into the system you see what you bring from home some work oh hey i've seen some some work to support some don't work I've seen a lady that she said a lot of people complain about this thing, but people they are still doing it. Women they will still go home and go and say they want to go and marry from home. And they say it's bad though. It might work for you, it might not work for you. But when you are going home to go and choose a wife or a husband, just know 50% is yours, 50% is not yours. That like 50% the woman is yours or the man is yours, 50% is not yours. Because if you really look at look at this thing, it's not their fault. What you have experienced here, they want to go experience it. They want to experience it. You will see, see some. They will come. They will appreciate their husband. They will want to work together. They will put us together. They will make it work. You know, that's why I said three percent of them. A lot of people complain that their wife, at times their wife, their wife will move as in more harsh to them than the women here. Once they all know that, ah, if you call police, if you call police for your husband, they will chase them out. Before anything, we'll threaten you. I will call if you touch me, I'll call police for you. <laughs> if you touch me, I will send you out of this house. 
So people, we should try. As in you guys, that is thinking of that is thinking about uh, uh, no good women in Europe. I want to go home and marry. Before you go and sit yourself down, think about it. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. Think about it very well. So that you don't say uh, women in Nigeria, they are not good, they are desperate. At times, uh, women, they are set to marry you because they see you as a ticket for them to enter Europe. Yes. They see you as opportunity for them to come. Maybe some they'll be trying, they'll be trying one way or the other. It's not working for them. Then they will not be they will not be hiring you. You agree to bring them here. They will agree, even if you anything you tell them to do, they will do it because they know what they are looking, they know what they are looking for. When you bring them here, that's when they will not show you their real color. Why you bring some here? They will also be good wife to you. So before you go and marry from Africa. Think this thing now, eh? it's not only Nigeria. Hmm. It happens everywhere. I know of a Ghana guy that went home to marry. Hmm. Who said it didn't work? This Kenyan girl now that went that went back to Kenya. She, when she was dating this guy, this white German man. You know, Kenya they have opportunity of dating white white guys there. Because uh, most of the time, I don't know if it's only Jamal. Jamal, they always go to Kenya. So she said so she was dating this man. This girl, I know, know that uh, uh, somebody told me, as I was making her hair when she was telling me the story. Now, she's no longer in Germany. She, she went back home. She said when she was dating this man, this man used to send her money like she spent money anyhow she wants. This man was sending her money every time. So the man asked, okay, it's time for me to come and bring you here. To come and stay with me. I can be coming every time to Africa to come and see you. So it's high time you come and live with me. And she agreed. She said when she said she, she thought that ah, if I come here, ah, this man is giving me this kind of money. Eh? If I go there, I'm gonna like be packing money like uh, like paper. The man brought her here. She said the day the man brought her here, the only money she as in the first time she man gave her hundred euro. That was the last money she saw. So the man said, now you have visa, you have documents. Because the man married her there and work her paper here. She said, oh, Jack, go and work. First, the first thing, the first job she said she did, a hotel job, just to start. So, eh, she was that, she that was robot before, she now turned to add. So I said, eh? Is this, this is this difficult. So, eh? so the man told her, so when I'm sending you money, since I'll be sending you money every time, telling baby, I need my money. This is how I'm working. Now it's time for you to walk and take off yourself. See, when she said, when she, 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 she the day I was making her, she said, my sister, I can't take this anymore. I have to go back home. I have my business uh, and I was running her, I running back home. And I thought here, yeah, when I come here, I will be, I will be bigger. She went back to Africa last year, early last year. Yes, she went back because the way she picture here to be, that's not how it is. So when people are sending money to you, to have, uh, sending money to you, you that lives in Africa, mm. the money you don't know how they are making it. At times, eh, we you we that lives you will get broke. Like, and the, the most bad part is that when you are broke, nobody to help you. In, in Africa, now you can go and meet your brother, your sister, your friend, your cousin, you know, all those, your colleague and all that to, to, to lend you money. In Europe, who will you meet? Would, uh, you, you can go and meet your neighbor, self. My neighbor, please give me sort. I forgot sort. Yeah, who know you? I've, I've lived in this house for almost one year. I don't, uh, it's only one of my neighbor I even know. Like, we pass each other. We say, hello, hello, finish. If you won't ask me the other ones, I don't even recognize them. So in Europe, eh, it's different from Africa. So when you want to go and marry in Africa, think twice. It's very good though. I didn't say you should not go and marry. Mm -mm. It's good and it's bad. So you have to be 50-50. That is my advice for you. So tell me what you think in the comment section. I want to know what you think. If it's really good. If, what I, if I make sense. No, this is my opinion. All right. So it must not be true. But I know it's not lie. But just tell me what you think in the comment section. Alright. So please do share this video and 